Yeah, it was a tough game. Um, had to be patient. Uh, felt, you know, we felt we wanted a quick start, and uh, I can't say it really happened. Very windy out there today, and that made football difficult. Um, I think you could see that we were defending uh, against it in the first half, and it was difficult to get out at times. Um, game might have been a bit different if they're, uh, you know, I think they hit the bar, didn't they, from a header? If the guy put it back in from the header, that might have been different. But picked up in the second half. I think we had three chances in the first five minutes of the second half. And then it's just a question of would it come. And, you know, our, our main man, uh, Dundo, comes up with a fantastic uh, chess volley. And you'll, you know, you'll, you'll have to go a long way to see a better goal than Tom's second, which uh, you know, we were right behind it and he just arrowed into that top corner. So, brilliant. Really, really pleased with the lads. Three points, two great goals, a fantastic 900-plus uh, crowd. Um, you know, things are looking good. I speak at Tom Boller and we got another man match. Must be absolutely delight with that. He's really improving at something. Yeah, as, as he said himself, I think he had a quiet start here, but that was to be expected. He was away in Thailand for a lot of pre-season where his wife had uh, had the baby and uh, he then came back and got the injury. So we're now beginning to see the best of Tom. And, you know, I think that a lot of Tom's form has, re has coincided with the team also doing well. We've got seven or eight players right on top of their game. Now, and that adds to the normal two or three. Jamie Collins, being back with, you can rely on him all, all the time, but the others have really come to the fore. Um, so, you know, we're scoring goals. I think that, you know, we're not far off being the second best scorer in the league now as well, so that's good. Uh, what did you make of the crowd today? Yeah, good in numbers, just very, very quiet. And I was trying to encourage them second half to, to help us out a bit because, you know, when the game's very tight and uh, we need that, you know, we need that encouragement. I just felt it was very, very quiet today. Whether it's Christmas hangovers or too much turkey yesterday, I'm not sure, but. You know, I would, I would, uh, I would ask um, our supporters to try and liven it up at home for us because at times it was like a, it's like a quiet library today, and um, you know, I, I like to have an enthusiastic crowd behind the team, and it wasn't always the case today. A must be absolutely delight as well. Results on away, so in second place tonight. Yeah, we, 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 we find ourselves in second. I think that you know you've got to temper that with a few, few other teams have got to play a game in hand and and other bits and pieces. But what it does do is it gives us that platform to go into the second half of the season now and really, you know, really keep pushing on and try and secure that playoff place and uh, if we can start hunting Ebsley down. So, you know, we always have a poor start. That wasn't rectified this year again. Um, but we, we we do feel that we can keep going and uh, you know we're we're positive that we can uh, have a say in what's going on in this league. Uh, what do you make of the Wilson game coming um, on Monday? Tough at that. Great, great support. You know that that's a home ground you'll go to, and you'll, that they'll get great support up there. You know it's going to be a decent crowd. Whether it's on, I'm not sure because I know the weather's not great tomorrow, and it's not going to be great the day after. And I think their pitch is quite a wet one. But again, good side, four four two, two good wingers, Louis Jefferson up front. You know they're always competitive, and they got better and better as well. A bit like us, really. They started poorly, and they got better as the season's gone on. So again, away game. You know we'll look at the numbers and we'll look at what system we're going to play. Um, but I like I like it at Wheelstone. It's always a feisty, fiery game, and that's to say credit really to their supporters and the way they go about it. Uh, Paul, congrats on the 2-0 win and going second. Thanks for talking to SHS TV. Thanks, Tom. Brilliant.